battlecruisers were rare within the Empire. They were more expensive than standard Imperial Star Destroyers, but lacked the overwhelming firepower or fear factor of dreadnoughts like the Executor. Still, I think if used effectively, battlecruisers can be great tools of war. An excellent example of this is the Allegiance class heavy Star Destroyer. The Allegiance is what you'd get if you design the standard ISD while dropping all pretenses of making a balanced, multi-role ship. It is designed for one thing, smashing and destroying destroying large enemy capital ships. Like the Tector, the Allegiance lacks the standard Star Destroyer ventral hangar, opting instead for more armor and greater power generation. This gives the ship an extra thickness, which is even more noticeable when we examine the dorsal superstructure, which is longer, wider, and more armored. Comparing the Allegiance to a standard destroyer clearly illustrates the difference. Capital ship grade weapons were also more numerous. We see two extra sets of main octuple turbo laser batteries on each side of the ship, and, interestingly, heavy trench and axial guns on a sort of swiveling mount, not unlike those seen on the Bellator. The Allegiance is a highly specialized ship, and can take on anything short of a Super Star Destroyer. However, to be effective, it will need fighter and small craft support. Given its numerous powerful weapons, it would be well suited to leading a few dedicated carriers and corvettes or frigates into battle. I complain about Star Destroyers a lot, but that's largely because the Empire used them as a catch-all capital ship. Besides for common issues like an overexposed bridge, I really have no problem with the Allegiance. And it even does some things better from a design standpoint than the standard ISD. It's a little bit more squat, those gun batteries going up the spine of the ship would have an excellent firing arc, and it actually seems to have many guns of different size, giving it some versatility. But those are the design basics. Let's Let's now look at history. The Heavy Star Destroyer first saw service during the Empire's heyday, though we have no records of action. It's my opinion that many of these ships after their production were hidden away in the deep core. As I alluded to at the beginning of the video, battlecruisers were in a weird spot. It was uncommon that practically the Empire would need anything larger than an ISD, especially when fighting the rebellion or independent systems or pirate groups, and if anything larger was needed, dreadnoughts were typically called upon because of their wow factor. In other words, a single Super Star Destroyer could bring sectors in line just based on its presence alone, in a way a battlecruiser would not, while the firepower that a battlecruiser would bring could also be represented with a couple of Star Destroyers. So back to my theory, I think that instead of seeing action, battlecruisers were probably stored away in the deep core as a powerful reserve fleet, and in 10 ABY, several Allegiant Star Destroyers saw action within the fleets of Palpatine's Operation Shadow Hand. The Allegiance itself commanded the fleet that attacked Amon Kala early on in the war. Though it was destroyed as a New Republic task force exited hyperspace and fired on the ship before it could raise its shields. Other allegiances are later seen escorting the Eclipse. Interestingly, Dark Empire refers to the Allegiance as a Super Star Destroyer. This confirms that it's not an ordinary ISD, but does make its size a bit murkier. By the way, I've discussed Dark Empire size discrepancies in a previous video. Nonetheless, it's unclear to me whether the Allegiance was only meant to be 2.2 kilometers or something. Something larger. That being said, Dark Empire was released basically concurrently with Heir to the Empire, meaning that it was very, very early on in the revamped Star Wars Expanded Universe. So terms like Super Star Destroyer were often thrown around without a whole lot of meaning. The Allegiance's non-Dark Empire appearance and the 3D models I've been using throughout this video was created by artist Ansel Howe, aka Fractal Sponge. Like the Bellator, his Allegiance design was initially only a model, though it was included and thus canonized in the Essential Guide to Warfare, and personally, I think he does a phenomenal job of capturing the ship that initially appeared on the pages of Dark Empire. But what do you think? Does the Allegiance make sense as a sort of scaled up Tector class? Do you like Ansel Howe's design? Do you prefer the one that initially appeared in Dark Empire, or are they basically the same? Let me know all of that and anything else that's on your mind down in the comments section. Thank you guys so much much for checking out this video and as always for supporting this channel. Special thanks to my patrons and everyone who supports me with the YouTube sponsor feature. Anyway, until next time guys, this has been Eckhart's Ladder. May the force be with you.